हेलो एवरीवन आई एम संगीता वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ग्रीन फिंगर्स It was my dream to have a vertical garden. I always wanted a vertical garden at home. But every time I see a vertical garden in anyone else's house in any of my friends place or any other household I see a vertical garden. It looks very nice but after 6 months uh, to 1 year after a year or so you see that the vertical garden the plants start deteriorating. the then after some time the plants are struggling uh, to survive in that vertical garden so i was in two minds that is it possible for people like us to have a vertical garden is it possible for us to maintain it well at home so in that fear i never kept a vertical garden in my place but each time i go to a big mall or uh, there are a few airports in india that looks they have maintained beautiful vertical gardens when you see you will fall in love with those uh, that idea of growing plants vertically and when each time i see that i feel that i should have a vertical garden at home so this tug of war between whether to keep it or not to keep it it has been there in my mind for quite some time so ultimately now i've taken a decision that i will start making a vertical garden in my garden and let's see what the outcome is after some time so as a result i have started this work and uh, this video i am going to show you about this vertical garden and how i uh, how i collect my plants from outside and all those things for people who who do not know what a vertical garden is i will tell you that vertical garden is nothing but growing plants vertically if you are short of space uh, for instance if you are living in an apartment if you uh, if, if you have a balcony in your flat uh, then you have space constraints you have a small balcony and if you keep 20 25 plants there is no space for you to walk so in that time the best option for us is to grow plants vertically so if you can keep a vertical garden in the balcony it will look very beautiful one thing and you can have a lot of plants you can have 20 to 30 plants in a small area so that is the advantage of keeping a vertical garden for me there there are two reasons why i am keeping a vertical garden at home one is obviously i love the greenery and i want more greenery in uh, in this place in this area that was the first reason why i am keeping it The second one is that I want to cut the view from this side. So I want a, a cut I, the view from that side has to be um, cut. So that is the reason why I am keeping the vertical garden at this particular place. So here uh, in in front of the house uh, in one side uh, we have made uh, we are making this vertical garden. So the structure is already uh, made. We have made the structure ready. It is made with uh, uh, two GI pipes are supporting it. uh of height almost 7 feet and i have made a frame the structure is 5 feet by 7 feet uh, in diameter 7 feet in breadth and 5 feet tall that is the height of uh, the structure this has got 2 uh, and 1/2 inch big each each uh, 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 column is 2 and 1/2 inch so that we can hang our uh, pots on them so this is how we have made it we have supported it with two pillars first the main thing that you have to remember while making this is that you have to make it with a gi uh, pipes and the uh, net and everything should be gi not iron because every day constantly we are watering it so watering can cost rusting and because of that it is advisable to keep uh, a gi mat uh, material while making this this you have to keep it in your mind while making it the first comment that we are going to read here is from uh, ranjita uh, she has commented under our begonia care and propagation video uh, it's actually a question she has asked my angel wing is dying lost all its leaves for winter 
so yes uh, angel wing begonia requires a lot of sunlight bright light uh, so that is the reason why it's dying i'm sure once it uh, hits summer uh, your plant will uh, definitely improve try to shift it to a place where uh, it can get a lot of sunlight thank you uh, for asking this question and i hope uh, your query uh, is answered this is the container that we are going to use to hang our plants uh, in this vertical structure and this is a plastic container it has got two hooks so you can easily hang it anywhere uh, you can hang it anywhere like this because this hooks uh, are there behind it and you can just hang it like that so these containers this uh, i think it's it cost 25 rupees if you buy uh, few uh, containers but if you buy in bulk then uh, you can buy it from a wholesale uh, dealer the price will reduce i got it for 23 rupees per piece so i bought uh, 80 or 80 odd pieces uh, so uh, they gave me a discount so it's always advisable to buy it from a wholesaler because the prices definitely they'll reduce two to three rupees they'll reduce if you're buying a lot of them so uh, this is the pot that we are going to use now the other uh, thing that uh, structure is ready uh, now the next step that we have to think about is plants so uh, we have a lot of plants in our garden so i thought we will take the, those plants and uh, we will use them and i actually when we made this uh, vertical garden i challenged myself that i'm not going to spend a penny uh, on buying plants whatever plants are there at home i will use that so when i used all those plants uh, when i took the plants when i counted them that it's coming somewhere around 50 to 60 uh, plants i can easily collect from my house uh, so because there are a lot of plants uh, you know in the backyard somewhere you know while repotting the plants have been put on the side and they have grown there all those plants i'm planning to collect and i'm planning to put it on this wall uh, so uh, but when i made the structure it is uh, five feet by seven feet in diameter so i thought it's not that big but once the structure is ready then I, when i was calculating it i could see that 80 to 100 pots will easily get accommodated uh, in this structure so then i thought now what do i do uh, for the rest of the plants so i thought that we will go out and just go for a plant hunt and see what all plants we can collect from outside as you all know i live in a tropical uh, side of india i live in kerala so we have a lot of tropical plants around i'm planning to drive down uh, to the foothills of western ghats and see uh, what plants uh, i can get uh, from the wild so let's go and see uh, what's awaiting uh, so come If you ask me when is the best time to visit Kerala, I would say during monsoon. Even though monsoon is not prevailing now, 
The mountains look breathtakingly beautiful after this unexpected rain. The atmosphere is cloudy and light drizzle makes it look like paradise. To my pleasant surprise, I was received to the wild by the native of Ghats, the lion-tailed macaque. This is a monkey found in the Western Ghats. Its outstanding characteristic is the silver-white mane which surrounds the head. The whole family came and took position around the car. The bravest alpha male, who is rather inquisitive, came next to the door to find out who has entered their domain. He peeped in and after making sure that I am no threat to them, posed for some pictures. After the curiosity settled, unlike humans, they moved away, letting me enjoy and explore their territory. There was a feeling of trust and belonging. I moved ahead, promising my friends not to break their trust. It was only when I saw these fern-covered natural landscape in the jungle, I realized where humans got the idea of vertical garden. The Western Ghats is home to 300 odd species of ferns. I could collect three to four different varieties of them that I found on the way. I was thrilled. I was awestruck by the mesmerizing beauty of these green giants. These huge trees covered in fog was a treat to the eye. I wanted to get lost in the wilderness. Thinking about my social commitments, capturing most of the visuals in my mind and few of them in my camera, I headed back home.
while returning back we had some more curious friends it looked like they came to say goodbye The next comment has come under our begonia uh, in a cockadema video. Um, it is from uh, GDK Diaries. Uh, I feel lucky today to have found your channel. It is relaxing and informative. Spending time watching on your videos is peace. I'm sure you are living a beautiful life having these plants around you. I'm dreaming of living the same and doing the same here in Sri Lanka. Uh, so happy to know that uh, our channel has inspired uh, you. Uh, yes, continue doing the same and I'm sure you will have a very beautiful and peaceful life. Thank you for your lovely comment. So we are back from our plant hunt and uh, we have got quite a number of plants and uh, mostly ferns. As you can see, there are, there are two, three varieties of ferns that we have collected. And um, I, I think I can accommodate these plants in five to ten pots and that's quite a number of plants. I'm so happy that you know I could get, I could collect so many plants. Um, so the next uh, thing is to pot it and uh, see how it looks uh, in these uh, vertical pots. After collecting all the plants, uh, I was the one who was driving so I drew the car and uh, while driving I could feel that something is wet, my legs are wet, my foot uh, is wet so I was thinking what is this but since I was driving I didn't pay much attention but after reaching home uh, when I saw that the, my f pants are all stained uh, so uh, I, I thought what is this and when I just lifted my pants up I could see there's so much of blood it's leech leech has bitten me badly actually on both my legs uh, and uh, now I have to go and clean it up. I, I didn't feel any pain as such, but so much of blood all over. So I got bitten by leeches from the Western Guards. Actually, I was not uh, supposed to go up the uh, ghat, but uh, when I already reached there, I thought, uh, since I've come so far, I will show you all how this beautiful a mountain look like so I've taken you a little further up I've uh, traveled 10 to 15 kilometers up it was a lovely experience and it was raining continuously there and uh, the, it was misty and foggy and it was very nice it was a very beautiful uh, weather there uh, so we really enjoyed making it and I hope you will enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you if I can have green fingers you can have them too plant something today and prove me right Bye-bye. See you in the next video.